Mike presents us with a number of interesting problems and challenges for Carrari's composites, Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic and Clearfill Majesty Flow. Mike is obviously not a big fan of the dentist and probably wouldn't be here today except for some not too gentle prodding from his wife. He has two very large and unsightly cavities on the upper right cuspid and central. The lateral is extremely lingual placed and tucked behind the central. Orthodontics is not an option for Mike. There is a wide variation in color from gingival to incisal. This is quite a test for any aesthetic composite. Once the patient is anesthetized, we can begin the preparations. A small round burr in the electric handpiece makes quick work of these cavities. Care is taken to remove all of the decay and to extend the margins to include the hypocalcified areas. Curare's Majesty Ascetic Composites are outstanding when it comes to matching natural tooth shades. An excellent result can be achieved even when your shade selection is a shade or two off. These teeth offer such a wide range of colors, I find it helpful to place and cure several shades of Clearfill Majesty Flow on the unetched surface of the tooth to make my final selection. These easily pop off of the tooth when finished. I choose Carrari's Clearfill Protect Bond for the bonding agent. I like Protect Bond's fluoride release and antibacterial cleansing effect. The cavity on the facial of the central incisor is an ideal indication for Clearfill Majesty Flow. The cavity is first dried and then Protect Bond Primer is applied, allowed to dry for 20 seconds before it is gently air dried. Next, Protect Bond is applied, distributed by a gentle airflow, and cured for 10 seconds. Notice how the small tip of the applicator reaches into the line angles and how the material stays where it is placed. The high filler content gives Clearfill Majesty Flow the remarkable ability to flow and maintain the desired placement without slumping. I will slightly overfill the cavity knowing that the nano and micro sized particles of Clearfill Majesty Flow will allow me to finish and polish the restoration to a high gloss. Clearfill Majesty Flow does not stick to the applicator needle or to the contouring instruments. The cuspid represents the greater challenge to aesthetic success. The lesion extends from the gingival through the body and into the incisal thirds of the tooth. In addition, it is visible from both the facial and the mesial aspects because of the depressed position of the lateral incisor. Most aesthetic composites demand that multiple layers of various shades be used to try to match the surrounding tooth structure. You will be able to see how the light diffusion technology of Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic allows me to use a single shade that matches and blends with the natural tooth surface. The Mylar strip helps to maintain the natural contours of the tooth and keeps the material from flowing into the interproximal area. The Protect Bond primer is placed, allowed to remain for 20 seconds, then gently air dried. Protect Bond is then applied, distributed by a gentle air stream, and then light cured for 10 seconds. The unidose capsule and gun are a convenient and efficient method of delivery of Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic PLT to the cavity. Adapt the Mylar matrix and cure for 20 seconds from all aspects. The restorations can be beautifully contoured and polished with discs, wheels, and brushes. The patient was thrilled with the results and was ready to leave but I wanted to see if I could do anything with that ugly lateral. 
It could never be ideal, but any improvement would sure be nice. The preparation is nothing more than lightly roughing the surface of the enamel with a fine diamond. Mylar strips are placed and the surface etched and rinsed. Protect Bond primer is applied, blown with air, and then Protect Bond is applied, blown with air, and light cured for 10 seconds. I apply several layers of Clear Fill Majesty Ascetic and light cure. Because the tooth is so far lingual, it is difficult to achieve the desired light effects in a single layer. The final layer is placed and cured. The mylar strips are removed and the composite veneer is trimmed and polished. A final application of gingival shade of the Clear Fill Majesty Flow is made and blended with a fine brush and cured. It is often difficult to predict the outcome of ascetic procedures, but with Curare's Clear Fill Majesty Ascetic and Clear Fill Majesty Flow, you can be confident that your beautiful results will be reflected in the beautiful smile of very happy patients. Ashley's chief complaint was that she had chipped part of an old composite on the upper right second bicuspid, and although there was no pain, she was catching food in that area. Our exam showed that there was also new decay in the distal of the upper first bicuspid as well. Our goal is to keep the preparations as small as possible and to prepare the teeth for composite restorations. The decay on the first bicuspid extends both buccally and interproximally. Removing the old composite on the second bicuspid, we found some new decay as well. However, the dark area in the distal proximal box is hard secondary dentin. Although the preparations are larger than anticipated, they are ideal indications for Curare's Clear Fill Majesty Flow and Clear Fill Majesty Ascetic Composites. The matrices are placed and wedged and the preps are cleaned and dried. These deep cavities are ideal indications for the use of Curare's Clear Fill Protect Bond. This bonding agent will avoid hypersensitivity, add protection with a fluoride release, and provide antibacterial cavity cleansing. Protect Bond Primer is applied and allowed to sit for 20 seconds before gently blowing with air. Then Protect Bond is placed, distributed by a gentle stream of air, and then light cured for 10 seconds. Clearfill Majesty Flow is injected into the second bicuspid and slightly overfilled. Notice how nicely it stays where I place it and that it does not stick to the applicator tip so it does not draw away from the margins. Because this product is so strong, I have no problem placing it in this multi-surface restoration. In a deep class two situation, as we have in the first bicuspid, I like to use the Clear Fill Majesty Flow to reach the deep, hard to access line angles in the proximal box as you see here. I will cure this first application and then use Clear Fill Majesty Flow in the very small mesial occlusal pit. Curare's Microtip Applicator Needle ensures that there will be no voids in this difficult spot. I complete the filling with Clear Fill Majesty Ascetic PLT, slightly overfilling and condensing with plastic instruments. This highly filled composite condenses nicely under the pressure of the hand instruments, allowing adequate working time and ensuring a tight contact. After the matrix bands and wedges are removed, I can then proceed to the final contouring and finishing. Once the dam is removed and the bite is checked and adjusted, you can see the beautiful final result that you can expect every time 
with Carrari's Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic and Clearfill Majesty Flow Composites. You can clearly see how nicely Clearfill Majesty Flow's high radio opacity is evident on the post-op x-ray. Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic and Clearfill Majesty Flow are proud new members of the Carrari family that have brought so many fine products to the dental market since 1973. After using and experiencing Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic and Flow, please share your comments with us. We believe Clearfill Majesty Aesthetic and Flow solves the needs encountered by many of us. The Clearfill Majesty series of products will become a significant part of your practice. For more information on these fascinating products, go to www.curaredental.com forward slash Dr. Blaze dash DVD dot PHP. And thanks for watching.